All right, Shan, are you a big Jennifer Lawrence fan? Yes, I am. Okay, well, if you're not a Jennifer Lawrence fan, I can win you over with one word. Now, I got to ask, if you really knew there was a comet that was hitting Earth in less than six months, what would be on your list of things to do prior to that comet hitting? Murder. <laughs> <laughs> one word. What would be on your list of things to do prior to that comet hitting? Murder. <laughs> <laughs> So this video is going to be about masculinity and females. You know, we did that video with the feminine bullfighters and they wiggle out of the way, or the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. UFC fighters, we get the, the feminine males. So Jennifer Lawrence, I actually spent some time to actually go through and, and get a bunch of her videos and stuff. I'm seeing her as a ESFP. I thought she was an ISFP. I didn't know. I knew she was our functions. Right, right. And Lead consume. So ESFP, yeah. consume play blast audio. So you got the double masculine savior function at the top, double masculine SF, right? Yeah. So here's here's a picture with her and um, Emma Stone, Emma. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Emma Stone, we've typed before, she's S E T E double, double masculine, masculine, which is kind of kind of interesting, right? Yeah. Didn't see that coming. And so here they are as good old friends. Yes. And then you start to see a little bit of the masculinity, <laughs> a little bit of a. A little bit of aggression. I love it. Yeah, a little bit of aggression. Ah, there's the masculine F5. Yeah. Look at how much she looks like Amy Schumer right there. I know, right? It's very interesting. Yeah, and then, yeah. And then here's your other buddy again. <laughs> <laughs> so, in contrast of the feminine males, they're like, I'm offended by nobody. Yeah, right. You can make fun of me. You can attack me. I won't fight you. Everyone's a Furby. Yeah, the masculine females here. Can you name five Jennifer Lawrence movies? Five Jennifer Lawrence movies? I know. Who is no. that bitch? Ashley Bob Anderson, I can tell you. Right, Jennifer Aniston is way better than Jennifer yeah, Lawrence. Do you yeah. agree? Yeah. yeah. Much yeah, better. I love her. Prettier, funnier. Yes. Yeah, yeah better, better movies. Yes, yes, I yeah. love her. Yeah, overall. Yeah, great. Um, I'm Jennifer Lawrence. Oh. <laughs> All right, bye, guys. Um, I think I'll probably, I see, I see these vans drive by my neighborhood, so if you see somebody in a Tesla giving you the finger, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> You can't say that. You can't just say that. Okay. This is where I'm like, okay, this is not an ISFP. She is way too double the side. Way too offensive. Yeah. Okay, so can I just say what I love and also hate about masculine FI? Masculine FI, it's like, it is so offensive that you have to be like, um, okay. Right. I mean, you just like right. ran across the line. There was the line and you're just like 10 streets, you know, down. But the thing about it though is that it does... It does make you laugh. Like, it's part of what it's, it's so bad. This humor is unexpected. Do you watch reality TV? Yes. Uh-oh. Is reality TV reality? Yes. Is Kim your favorite Kardashian? No. <laughs> Do you believe in aliens? I guess. I think so. I have no reason not to. Yeah, of course. Be silly. I think we're the only ones. Do you remember your character Mystique's real name from the X-Men? Raven Darkholm. Confirmed. Can you name five X-Men? No. I can't. Probably can't remember because she didn't care. She didn't care. You ever see actors that are like into Star Wars or Star Trek or, you know, they're, they're some... They're an actual Trekkie and yeah. she's just not an actual... So did you watch all the comics when you were a kid? Like, uh, no. <laughs> or Marvel. Like, no. I think uh, uh, Chris Evans. Yeah, right. Yeah. A He's lot like... of them are like, no, I'm just an actor. I'm right. interested in acting. I'm right. not interested in the comics. Do you know anyone in the Illuminati? No. That was a little too fast. Are you in the Illuminati? No. You have a moral dilemma. Yeah. The train is speeding down the tracks about to hit a group of 20 people. If you pull a lever, you can divert the train to a track that would kill only one person. Do you pull the lever? To save 20 people, yes. Mm -hmm. What if instead of pulling that lever, you had to push that one person in front of the train to save those 20 <laughs> Yes. I mean, it would be psychotic not to. In fact, every time I'm in the subway, I always think about pushing people on the tracks. I don't do it, I don't get tempted to do it, but it, it crosses my mind. Told you. I'm so happy that that was confirmed with the polygraph that I'm a psychopath. <laughs> murder. Yeah, right. I don't. Well, I don't want to do it. It's like she actually does think about murder. Wait, you could just say lot. that. Like, oh yeah, I think about pushing people on the tracks. <laughs> and then you get away with it. Do you tip well? Yes. Uh oh. More than fifteen percent. Yes. More than twenty. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, like when it's appropriate. Uh oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, geez. oh my god, I'm a bad tipper, okay? I can't believe I'm rich and a bad tipper. That's heartbreaking, okay. It's mostly just from me not knowing or not having, you know, just, it's, it's from be, it's from my bubble. Should pineapple ever be on pizza? <laughs> no, never. Sorry, Chrissy Deacon. <laughs> Should pineapple ever be on pizza? 
<laughs> she says no. Yeah. I agree. My yeah. FI hates that. Uh, it's funny that she's uh, got caught with the tipping thing. Are you a good tipper? Yes. And then, like, it just started to fall apart. Right. But then as she's soon like, as he started asking your sensory. Right. Like, <laughs> but then she started just, like, chatting it out. She's like, oh, it's because I can't work the thing or I'm stuck in my belly. Right. 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 And a little bit of cognitive dissonance, right? Right. You but, like, good for her for, du- like, that was double deciding. Instant, instant masculine FI. Yeah. Uh, I see myself first. I'm right. This is my self perception, and I see that a lot. Uh, the IP struggle with that one a lot, where they'll tell you who they are, and then they, but they can't do what she just did, which is work it out so fast. Hold on, that's actually bullshit. When you see yourself on the screen, do you think I did a great job? If I did, then yes. Have you ever had a Facebook account? No. Oh yes, when I was younger, yes. Do you ever Google yourself? Yes. Are you afraid of anything? Yes. Are you afraid of this? That's one of them. I don't like those. You may remove the picture. (laughs) And this? I'm not really scared of clowns. Unless, like, I'd be scared of the amount of fun I'm about to not have. (laughs) (laughs) I I feel like I might be past the age where I can be entertained by a clown. Except for Cam in Modern Family. When he pulled the giant clock out of his coat at the gas station and said, come on, we're late. (laughs) That was funny. Was that really funny? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Says me. Was that FI funny? Yes! yes! <laughs> I feel like it's the NESI coin that gets the clown thing a little bit too much. Yeah, right? the, the, the STJs seem to use clown for, like, this would be the scariest thing to me, so I'm yeah. going gonna, gonna to dress up as a clown. Yeah, and the spiders, too, also seems to be on the NESI coin. I wonder if the guy has oh, any, NESI in He's like, this'll scare her. Clown, sand in between your toes. A spider? Right. He mm. should have shown her like the little girl from the ring. Like some kind of dark, scary yeah. ghost. That, you know? that would get her. Yeah. yeah. Someone like this would be somebody to watch for. If, if this happens to be anywhere parts close to your type, like this would be somebody to watch for someone who happens to be successful. Like she's making it with her functions, doing whatever she's doing. But just non-drama to hell. Yeah, non-drama. That's what I was seeing. Right. Just processing in the moment. Able to kind of sort things out and not feel stuck. That's a kind... Like, I, I, I do not... Ha- I have, like, a white belt in non-drama. Like, I see somebody like this, and I'm like, I don't know how you did that, but I got to get to that level of non-drama in my life. 